a celebration of freedom. Under the leadership of the conductor Leonard Bernstein, orchestral players and choirs from both East and West Germany are joined here in Berlin, just a few hundred meters east of the Brandenburg Gate, by musicians from America, Russia, France, and Great Britain, the four countries who still have a formal presence in this no longer divided city. The concert is being televised in over 20 countries, from Japan in the east to America in the west. The wall is down, and the city is euphoric. And never was a musical work more suitable for a celebration than the one we shall hear now, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Its grand design is crowned by a setting of Schiller's Ode to Joy, a poem which sings exultantly of the brotherhood of men. Alla Menschen werden Brüder. And this is the message we send from Berlin this Christmas. For this performance, in which unusually the adult choirs are joined by children's voices, Leonard Bernstein feels authorized by the power of the moment, as he puts it, to make a significant change in the poem. Instead of the word Freude, joy, the choir will each time sing Freiheit, freedom. And so this becomes, in word as well as deed, the Berlin Freedom Concert. A statue of Schiller stands outside the Schauspielhaus, which was once the city's principal theater. It was completely destroyed in the war, but has been restored to become one of the world's finest concert halls. The orchestra of Bavarian radio is joined by members of the Staatskapelle Dresden, the Kirov Theatre Orchestra of Leningrad, the London Symphony Orchestra, the New York Philharmonic, and the Orchestre de Paris. The Bavarian Radio Chorus, also from Munich, is joined by singers from the Berlin Radio Chorus and the Children's Chorus of the Dresden Philharmonie. The soloists are June Anderson, Sarah Walker, Klaus Koenig, and Jan Hendrik Rotering. The conductor, Leonard Bernstein. 